Yo, what's up guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 3 and in this video we're going to do the simple Hello World program in JavaScript. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm here in the code and I've created a dead simple HTML file. Uh, we've just got the doc type, the HTML tag, the simple head and the body tag which is empty. Now, Generally speaking, when we do embedded scripts, we put them right at the bottom of the body tag. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about where we position the scripts in this tutorial. That's going to come later. In this tutorial, I just want you to focus on how easy it is to embed JavaScript into a HTML web page. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just open up my script tag. When we embed JavaScript in a web page, we always have to embed it within these script tags. Okay. Now, I'm going to do that annoying alert function that you've probably seen countless times if you're old enough to remember the 90s, the late 90s when people started first making websites and learning JavaScript. We get a little annoying pop-up box on every website that you visited. I'm going to show you how to do that, you lucky, lucky people. So it's just simply alert and then we open our parentheses and close them and then within this we pass in the string hello world and then end it all with a semicolon. That signifies the end of the statement. But again, don't pay too much attention to the syntax here. I'm just showing you in this tutorial exactly how easy embedding JavaScript is. So I'm gonna save that. Then we'll view it in a browser. Refresh over here. And there we go guys, we've got that annoying alert pop-up box coming up here saying hello world, click OK, and thankfully it goes away. So that really is it. That's how simple it is to embed JavaScript into your web pages. So I know a lot of people, when they first start learning JavaScript, they already know HTML, they already know CSS, and they've been putting off JavaScript for a long time because they're thinking, well, it's a big step up. Okay, it's totally different from anything I've learned so far. And yes, it is different, but the learning curve is not that steep. And I was the same. When I first started learning JavaScript, all I know knew was HTML and CSS, and I was put off. Um, I thought, oh my God, so daunting, there's a lot to learn, and there is a lot to learn, but the learning curve is not that steep, and I promise you guys, if you stick with me, I'm going to teach you all the basics, and you're going to find picking it up easier than you thought. So this was just a little introduction as to how easy it is to embed JavaScript into your web pages. Um, from the next lesson onwards, we're going to start learning about where we place JavaScript, the syntax of JavaScript, and exactly what we can do with it. So I hope this has kind of introduced you softly into the whole world of JavaScript, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.